This is Tom Meyer, Superintendent of Bellevue Community School District in Bellevue, Iowa, coming you with this week's Believe in the Blue update. Wow, what a busy week here. A lot of things going on. PK through 12 here. Want to start off at his homecoming week, as many of you know. Want to, our homecoming court this year, ninth grade with Sam Dunn and Maddie Schmidt. Our 10th graders were Conrad Ernst and Bryn Doherty. Juniors were Toby Giesman and Aubrey, Aubrey Hager. Senior attendants were Henry Paulson and Taylor Back, along with our king and queen this year, were Jacob Till and Emma Kelchin. Congratulations to all of them. Uh, Want to give you a few other upcoming events. That way we've been having homecoming games out here but uh, throughout the week at the middle school, high school. But on Friday at roughly 8.30, we'll have an all-district pep assembly here at the middle school, high school building. And that is something that anyone's invited to come to. We have our students from PK through 12 coming out to that. It's a great event. If you get a chance, swing on out to that. I strongly encourage that. It's a lot of fun uh, with all the teams recognized, many student games and uh, staff stuff. So come on out to that that way. It's the only time through the whole year that PK through 12 get together. We fill the whole main gym up at the middle school, high school. Started that up about four years ago. Uh, some upcoming events tomorrow evening. We have volleyball at home starting at 415 with middle school. We are playing uh, all the way through the high school level. Uh, um, uh, and, and I just want to encourage you to come out to that. We're playing Wilton there. Uh, and then on uh, the cross-country team actually goes up to West Dubuque for a very good meetup there. Friday, we have a home football game at 7 o'clock for Tipton. We have a homecoming parade at 245. Swing out to that along, uh, along Highway 52 and then cutting down the elementary at State Street that way. Monday, we have cross-country at the Bellevue Golf, Golf Course. That's a Marquette's uh, game that way. Tuesday, we have some uh, volleyball again going on there. We play at Monticello that night. Some other things. We have volleyball at North Cedar. Next Thursday night, we have football at Clayton Ridge. Next Friday, we have state marching band contest coming up as well, and that's next Saturday, October 7th, and that's at Kingston Stadium in Cedar Rapids. Middle school football also has a game coming up on Tuesday uh, versus Monticello at Bellevue. Just a lot of things going on. I can't go through the whole list, but check out our website. It's all on there. I want to give you a little update, too, on some facilities information. That way we'll be having some community meetings uh, to discuss facilities that we had a... Uh, we had the the Legat architects take a look at our facilities over the summer. They gave a small report today with things they've noticed, but we're having a community meeting to talk about what are the perceptions of people, give some people some information on our buildings, our facilities as a whole, and get your thoughts on everything. The first meeting is going to be on November 9th. That's a Thursday, with the second meeting being on Thursday, December 7th. So November 9th and December 7th, they'll be held, held at the elementary cafeteria area, and I will uh, uh, give more information about that as we get closer. And it'll be um, out there in the public uh, to really promote people to come out to that. I encourage you to come out Ask those questions. Give us your opinions. That's what we need to hear before we do anything. As always, the community involvement and community perceptions are very, very important. Um, on that note, I want to turn back again to all of our students, go things going on there. That first week in November, November 8th, 9th, and 10th, we have our school musical. Uh, and I just want to read something from a book here called The Obstacle is the Way. Uh, talks about life in general, overcoming challenges, and everything like that. Um, one little part here says, you will come across obstacles in life, fair and unfair. <laughs> Isn't that the truth? And you will discover time and time again that what matters most is not what these obstacles are, but how we see them, how we react to them, and whether we keep our composure. You will learn that this reaction determines how successful we will be in overcoming or possibly thriving because of them. So remember that always. You know, Nothing makes us feel any certain way. We choose to give in to such feelings. Um, and, and I think that's really important to recognize. And you can look at our musical people. You can look at our marching band people. You can look at our art students. You can look at our athletes. On down the line, all those different things. Uh, it's always striving to become better and better at what we do. Some instances just recently here, you know, our musical people have been working very hard and been making great progress on the fall musical Into the Woods. Hasn't been easy. Overcoming challenges. Football team played a wonderful game at West Branch last week. Got beat. Got beat on uh, in the last two minutes, or last minute actually got beat, uh, but had a chance at the end. They kept striving uh, in a very good game between two ranked teams. Our volleyball team got second place at the Mid-Prairie Tournament, beating some teams, including the Iowa City Regina, they had not beat before. Cross-country team 
got second place as a team at the at the GRIAC, at the GRIAC Invitational in Minneapolis out of uh, 50 some schools accomplishments but it hasn't came easy education learning doesn't always come easy but we're developing that growth mindset and persistence to do the best that we possibly can at all times is what we want to promote to all of our students that way so on that note, I'm going to close up here. Next week, I will have a guest here uh, talking as well and give you some more information on our uh, facilities meetings once again on November 9th and December 7th. Have a great week, everyone. Hope to see you at the homecoming parade. Hope to see you at the homecoming game. Have a good one.